Ooh, there we go. What's happening? Day two of install goodness. Today we've got some some KTM 790 awesomeness that we're gonna get installed. Believe it or not, I've been looking forward to this mod more than like any other one that I've done or am going to do because like all of you guys, I hate this whole mess that's going on in the back. <laughs> There's a lot going on. It's ugly, it's bulbous, and uh, it's gonna look freaking sweet. So we've got uh, Rottweiler Performance Tail Tidy, um, integrated turn signals, running and brake light, and all of this nastiness is gonna go away. And this thing looks incredible. So I cannot wait, we're gonna get this installed today. And we've got the rear brake master cylinder guard from Rottweiler Performance that we're gonna put on. So when I was in uh, Chris's shop, uh, back when I bought the muffler and exhaust, this stuff was still in prototype phase, and uh, now they're ready to go. So I swung, uh, swung into the shop a couple of days ago, picked these bad boys up, and today we're gonna show you how to get them installed, show you what they look like, tell you what they do. So let's get cracking. All right, first step is we're gonna go ahead and take off these four bolts right underneath that holds this whole ugly thing in place. Step one. Oh, there you go. Right in the back here, you're gonna find that there are these two wires, these connectors, these two guys right here that go through and connect to the existing brake light turn signal setup. So it looks like we're just gonna unclip these two right here, okay? And uh, we should be able to remove this thing and move on with installing the new one. Those two little connectors right there were all that were on the back side of the stock, the stock uh, assembly. So now we've got that off and we're gonna get this out of the way and install the new one. All right, so listen, don't let this freak you out. On the new Rottweiler Performance tail section. You have more wires than you would know what to do with. At first you're looking at it, you're going, I got four coming out of the Rottweiler. I only took two off of the stock license plate frame holder. So here's what you're gonna do. These are the two wires that you disconnected from the stock license plate frame holder and turn signal setup. So these are your turn signal lights. Mine's a 2020 KTM 790 Adventure R. So on this particular model, I've got one wrapped in a green and one wrapped in a red factory wires uh, coming out of the bike. And for the Rottweiler, the brown wire connected to the green and the red wire from the KTM connected to the purple wire from Rottweiler Performance. So now you're wondering, what the heck am I supposed to do with these two guys? Let me show you. You've got your factory brake light still plugged in back here, okay? So we're gonna disconnect this one as well, which wasn't connected to the license plate frame holder. This was just connected in the back of the bike. So I got a little pocket knife, excuse me, being in the way here. So we've got that disconnected. And it's pretty clear that the female connector coming out of the Rottweiler performance plate is gonna connect to the male section. And then that female portion to the male plug terminal from the Rottweiler plate. So now you've got all four. So you did your two turn signals and then you disconnected the factory brake light and you connected it to the two extra portions of wire and connectors coming from the new license plate frame holder from Rottweiler. So I'll turn this camera around and we'll test everything to make sure we got it. Okay, key on. Let's see, where are we at? So that is your brake and running light, the additional one that you get with the new plate setup. Left turn signal, right turn signal. Check out that sweet little license plate LED light up in there. That is awesome. So if you don't disconnect that factory brake light and use those extra two wires, this will not work. Most of it won't work right. So make sure you, again, connect all of those the right way and everything works perfectly. So now I'm gonna disconnect all that so we can get it mounted from the backside and we're gonna fish those wires through. All right, real quick, before you can put your license plate in the license plate frame holder, you do need to notch around the wire that's up here towards the top. So I've just made a little outline where I want it to be. Okay, right about in there. That should be covered up by the, uh, the frame 
when it's clamped down. So I'm just going to take a little set of snips, get that guy notched out, and we'll get this put in there before we get the frame up on the bike. All right, class, before you go buttoning everything up up here, this is exactly what it should look like when you're done, okay? On the back side, there is a slot, an extra slot in the plate for a reason. Let's see if I can get that to focus. You're gonna fish the wires through that slot, all right? And they're gonna end up going back behind the plate. Something like that when you get, when you get it up there, okay? And uh, the two spacers that come with the kit, they're gonna go on top of these front bolt holes, okay? So the two spacers go on the front bolt holes, the back don't have any spacers. You got your rubber insulator on here from the stock hole, which you're gonna pop back in place. So we're gonna go ahead and fish these through and start getting this loosely bolted up to the back end. I'm gonna kind of manipulate that little rubber deal until it pops back in. So I'm gonna get the back one started since I don't have to balance and hold a spacer in there. Just barely, just barely. Now we'll go ahead and get these front ones on with a little spacer so I can hold it in place. Put the bolt through it, lift it up. There we go. Also, you probably shouldn't use an impact to put those in, but I did. So, one bummer about the design of this little area right here is that you've got your rear brake master cylinder line just exposed right next to where you're coming down and whacking this thing with motocross boots. So, as the story goes, people have been kicking this off the, from the back side and losing their rear brake and all the fluid goes bye bye and not that you can't ride home without a rear brake, but that's still super annoying to have to deal with later, obviously. So, Rottweiler Performance has this little nifty guard that's not only gonna protect it, but help keep it in place so that you don't do that. That's what we're gonna install next, the guard. So the neat thing about the guard, aside from protecting it, is it's got this little rubber backstop here and what that's going to do is when you go to install this it actually puts pressure on the back side of this little uh connection so it's not only just protecting it but it's actually helping keep it in place so that it can't come off at all super nifty good thinking rottweiler there's your master cylinder and do, 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 do. that's going to go in there kind of like that. Comes with spacers for the back side. So you can go ahead and get the spacer started like so. And I'm going to go get a little bit of Loctite. I'm going to dab on these before I throw them in place. Got the Loctite. <laughs> Just a dab. Just a dab will do you. We're gonna go ahead and get these started by hand. And we'll probably use the friggin' impact. Of course, it's got a different size. Different size on it, so I probably can't. Dang it. Got the right bit. Doesn't get any faster than that. That's a wrap, guys. Let's go over the two things that we did. Well, you just saw this one, so this was step two. Rear brake cylinder, master cylinder guard, super heavy duty, not gonna be kicking anything off, gonna keep you well protected on the trail. Let's move to the back.
Is that not freaking gorgeous? I mean, my gosh. That is worth every friggin' penny. I'm not joking, it could have been twice the price and I would have bought it. It looks so freaking good. I am so very happy with how both things turned out. So I was gonna edit this video today, but actually I think I'm gonna go ride instead. I really don't feel like editing it, so you'll see it eventually. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. And hopefully friggin' soon we'll get out of the garage and have an adventure. If they don't put up roadblocks by the time I get out of here, uh, I'll be lucky. And these little guys, don't mind them. They're from my Kriega bag, so you're probably wondering what that is. All right, thank you guys. See you on the next adventure. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. Bye now. See ya.